Richard Hugo is a poet long dead that I really uh, admire. Remembering Richard Hugo from the California desert. Dick, you'd prize these dog days in Trona, sunlight louder than bad shit-kicker jazz, nights dull enough to base a sermon on. In Blanche's bar and grill, propeller fans and glass after clammy glass of beer, check down the Panamint Valley heat rising like a flood outside. The only whore in town wears store teeth and a railroad watch. Suppose you hold up here on the run and running out of luck. You couldn't leave. You'd arrive in a lather boiling across a range where wind still works the claims that miners flattened their hopes on. You'd settle down with your thirst. Pickled in sweat, skinned by the sun, and hung out to dry, you'd last a lifetime. Dick, history's wrong. Custer never quit. He's here behind the bar, trading salvos with Dakotas. Death and failure take forever here, and time means nothing to the sun, the wind. A fish pond, a barn, the bones of a wagon, all that was left of a homestead on a narrow road above Coso, a ghost town miles from pavement. Our last winter outing together. In the barn, a pinion branch trimmed with peppermint sticks, gift wrap twisted into wreaths, and the two of us a foot deep in blankets and straw, our breath frozen, a trifle boozy, one precious bottle of brandy, a scrap of moonlight blurred by threads of snow. Breaking up on radio, the gas company evening concert. Nothing we do seems to help. I dream of scotch on the rocks in smoky clubs and showgirls with welcome signs in their laps. She reads by candlelight. When the light fails, she clings to the warmth of my body and I surprise myself making love to her as if I really mean it, but without music. At daybreak, snow sifts through the straw. Our car refuses to move. Do we tramp help in the snow or learn to live with field mice? I break trail. She lags behind in the wrong shoes. Midday, we leave the snow behind and pause to finish the brandy. Almost dusk at a goat farm near the pavement, we're offered hot cocoa and a ride back to our car. Follow my tracks down, the driver says. Forget the chains. Before we know it, we're back in the city. Bill collectors, Monday morning flu, pink slips. Being unfaithful was easy. On a day that opens like a requiem, almost an anniversary, I try that road again, alone and older. Hills appear like bloody clouds. Clouds are snowy mountain crests. Nothing much has changed. The barn sags like a promise. The pond is silted in. Everything's unimproved. I can't balance our losses. A sign on a fence reads, Trespassers punished, but I know that already. Carved on a post, two names are barely visible, circled by what used to be a heart. Ragged fog over the San Joaquin Delta and you're off and running, prowling the overgrown levees and camps between Mokolumne Bridge and Beanpot Resort. 
and the Kim Novak double touching up her lipstick in a snazzy Italian coupe at the boondocks bait and espresso shack has no way of knowing that she has just gone around the world with you and now you're playing it back and now you listen to Lady Day's Torchy, the nearness of you and you tune it down and you want to shout, pretend I'm alive, but you make up your mind to just give it up and get hammered. Jacarandas, a typical Southern California poem. All through that June night, the jacaranda blooms splashed down a soft, scented rainfall of blossoms, soaking the roof, spilling out of the gutters into the roses, flooding across the lawn into the streets. By dawn, the yard was drenched with petals, and we raked them into puddles, tracking lavender dew up the steps where we stood and watched the steady drizzle soak the yard in color again. For weeks, the lavish rain persisted. Day after day, clouds of blossoms mustered in the limbs and showered down, each storm a little lighter than before until one drowsy afternoon the last purple drop swirled loose and we went into summer shaded by a lacy green umbrella bedded down in fading petals. <laughs>